what is going on guys time for video number two in my uh series on cart 6t3 um i thought we'd take a peek at tires today uh again who knows how soon we're gonna fire off here i have some tires cooking in the hot box right now just in case we do and it happens to be well i guess not at the moment it was snowing here in new york it is april 21st all right so you guys in the south that are like oh it's a little chilly shut up all right <laughs> just shut up it was snowing today it's almost the end of april uh we are talking about the tires yes these these black round beauties that uh either make you a hero or a zero um, I was going to go over uh, some of the equipment I use in doing my tires, some of the equipment that I have built doing my tires, and I still use to this day because, uh, you know, I, I haven't always had uh, some really good equipment. I've, I've had to make do, and I, I thought I would, in the GoPro should, footage, show you some of the stuff that uh, I have built and used and still use to today. Um, so uh, I got my helmet, uh, helmet strap, I said it again, my head strap. This came in today. Uh, matter of fact, if you're looking on eBay for something and it says it's coming from Kentucky, that's after it gets to Kentucky, just so you know. All right, guys, uh, I will go to the GoPro footage and then we'll come back here with some final thoughts on uh, what I just talked about. All right, catch you in a minute. What is going on, guys? You're looking at my tire setup for the foreseeable future, I guess. Uh, it's uh, my barn's still still a mess. Uh, like I said, in New York, still waiting on it to get warm, and uh, it might be a minute. So, all right, we'll uh, we'll start off here from the left and uh, show you what I got going on here. This is a, a KK, KKP bead breaker. Uh, this thing is ultra, ultra handy. Uh, it has adjustable sizes for your right sides, your left size, sides. So th <clears throat> this whole shelf moves up and down to give you enough compression rate to break the beads on your on your tire. Uh, before that, I was using this contraption here. Uh, this was acquired uh, second hand. It does get the job done. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to use, but it will work. Uh, you put this on there once you once you break your beads you get this in and you're able to to spin the bead off uh it works i have used this for many many years but i tell you what uh, i think we got this last year and it's so good it is so good uh, i picked this up at jc specialties uh as a matter of fact the the lot right here we got at JC Specialties. Uh, only because I saw a gentleman trying to seat beads on Facebook without a tire ring is why I'm going to show you this. Uh, you know, in general, not everybody knows, you know, how to do their own tires, what tools you might need. So as much as, you know, a lot of the guys I know, yeah, Ben, we know, we know tire ring and all that. Some people may not know. So if you are seating beads on a tire, please get yourself at least an expandable tire ring, if not the sized correct tire rings. Uh, you know, typically 34 inches is what you're trying to get your right sides at, and this gives you the, the ability uh, and adjustability to do insides and outsides. I've always used an expandable tire ring. Uh, it'd be nice to have those, those set sizes, but it's okay. I will make do with what I got, and I won't complain. Uh, another thing, guys, uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to say there was a rash of them, but we've had some rims come apart while people were blowing them up. Uh, I believe Matthew Lakaitis uh, had an incident last year uh, where a rim blew up on him. Get your hand away from the rim, please. Even this might be a bit too short. You know, this this extension should be longer, and I have the ability to get my hand further away from uh, the actual rim while I'm blowing up tires inside the tire ring. The tire ring will keep it from flying out at you. Maybe mount it sideways, whatever you want to do, up and down, whatever suits your fancy, but get your hand away from that rim. It is very dangerous, and it can go sideways in a hurry. So in my intro there, I talked about I, I got some, uh, some tires of cooking in here. Uh, this is my hot box. This is another KKP product from uh, 
down from PA there at JC Specialties, and these things are absolutely wonderful. Uh, so, so warm. Uh, right now I'm running about 90 degrees, not super hot. I have some internal I'm trying to pull up through the tread. So I, I, you know, this isn't an all-in-one tire video. I'm going to do more, you know, me running the surfacer and stuff like that, just give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, you know, I, I am no professional at how I get prep into it. All I use is a piece of fuel line and a cup. I measure it. I compress the tire without the valve stem in. I put the, the fuel line on, and I suck out of the cup into the internal of the tire. I put the valve stem back in. I blow it up a little. Poof. Into the hot box or tire roller you go. Nothing nothing crazy. I don't have one of those injectors. I've, you know, it'd be all right to use one. I've never needed one. So uh, over here, just, just some of the preps I use. I am a track tech guy. I have been since I have been U in UAS and I will continue to do so. I absolutely love their products. They have a lot of products, but I don't use them all. Uh, there are all sorts of type of dirt across the United States, and that's why they develop so many chemicals for that. It's just my choice. I have, I've tried other stuff, and it was okay. I just, I have always been comfortable with track tack. And especially up here in the Northeast, I found what I like. I use it, and uh, I'm not going back, man. <laughs> so, uh, and in the intro, I talked about uh, my homemade stuff. This thing has been around for at least 10 years. This is my homemade uh, tire rotator McDuber rotisserie thingy me bob. Uh, piece of wood. An old sign that uh, my buddies may or may not have stolen years and years ago. But I went over to uh, Lowe's and I picked up a rotisserie motor. It came with a bracket and everything. Now this has a quarter inch square output on it. And what I did was, if I can get up here real quick. What I did here was I put a socket on the end that took the quarter inch. And then I drilled a hole through. All this is is conduit. So I got some quick bearings, I fixed some bearings, uh, drilled some holes, uh, conduit, and then this is just grip tape on the drive side. And as you can see, it's spinning. I mean, this thing is at least 10 years old, if not older. I, I can't even remember when I built it, but I still use this when I wanna uh, expand or shrink tires. Um, what I took off here to begin with, these are just some floodlights. All right, you know, anybody who's used these things, they know they get exceptionally hot. Well. I can do two tires at a time, and I just put it on a board. I mean, super simple, super easy. I get them nice and close to the tire. I turn the floodlights on. They heat up the tires, and uh, maybe, you know, in a future video, I will actually show about how how about I go shrinking a tire or growing a tire. Uh, you you got it, in, in my opinion. Yes, you can let it be, but it is better to dunk it in ice water. That will set the tread for you know, smaller or larger than you wanted to go. So um, over here, this is my tire surfacer that I built. Uh, super simple design, nothing crazy. I believe the stand came from Harbor Freight. It was just something I acquired. Uh, my, my grandpa had a, a ton of stuff. That's where I got the motor. So basically I went down to Tractor Supply and I got myself a couple uh, belt drives here. And then I had sheared off an old axle, uh, shorter. I got some pillow blocks. And then I, I, all I did was I took some hubs to this side and I drilled through on this, on this cog and bolted it to it. Obviously got a belt that would fit, got the distance correct. Another hub on this side, obviously the tire grows on this side. And a quick wiring job to a household switch on and off. That's it, it spins the tire. And like I said, I will do a video of me doing that uh, just to show you guys kind of my, my thought on uh, what you have to do to it. I am no professional at tires, but you know, for the guys who either don't have a tire program, they don't know what to do, that is my intent for you know, some of these videos to, to give somebody an idea, hey man, I could, I could do that, I could build that, I could build the tire rotisserie out of that. Uh, I don't have to go out and spend the kind of money. These things are phenomenal, but to get the job done, all you need is something like this. So uh, back out to outside footage, 
and I will uh, get a, a finale of thoughts here, I guess. <laughs> I'm a wordsmith, aren't I? All right, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the walk around my exceptionally dirty shop. <laughs> I will get it cleaned up uh, one of these days. Do some some sweeping and uh, organizing. Get rid of some of the trash and what have you. You know, I apologize for my my household being so out of order. Uh, I did pick up a little bit, but I've been doing stuff. You make a mess when you do stuff, and I will get to it. Um, so I hope some of that helped you guys. Uh, you know, like I, I described in the GoPro footage, you don't need a ton of money to do this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure who 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 would think so, but I wanted to show it's possible. You know, it's it, a little ingenuity will take you a long way. And uh, working tires is, you know, I think the best way to find speed. I, I run high horsepower motors. I know that the, the BRAP is strong. You know, the pushing as much horsepower as possible is, is awesome. But corner speed is king. If you can get hooked up through the corner on those black things that causes everybody so much trouble, uh, you will win some races, you will do well, you will start performing better. So uh, I'd say a quick video, these seem to be a little longer than, than I wanted. Uh, my attention span isn't all that great, but it is what it is, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, and I will continue to try and produce some of these. I watched that footage and everything's canted just slightly to the to the right. I don't know why. I looked at myself in the mirror. It looks straight. But all right, guys, I will catch you guys later.